So let's talk about uh, even and odd function. So how do you know that a certain function is even or a certain function is odd or neither? So for you to conclude that a function is even, then f of negative x should be equal to f of x. If I plug in negative x in the function, the function should come as the original, the way the original function is. Then this function is even. If f of negative x gives me negative f of x, then this function is odd. If these two guys are not attained, then the function is considered as neither. Neither even nor odd. Okay? Let me give you a brief example about this function. Okay? So, let's say we have f of x being equal to x squared minus 4. Is this function odd or even? Let's see. So now the first thing to write, or the first thing to do when you are talking about even and odd function, is to say, this is the first thing you're going to do. In any type of question like this, for even and odd function, you say, before you even start solving, you say, for a function to be said, as or to be said to be to be even f of negative x should be equal to f of x and odd f of negative x should be equal to negative f of x this is the initial statement okay so you have to write this. So sometimes this is just a different English. You can use your own English. For a function to be considered as even, f of x should be equal to, f of negative x should be equal to f of x. And for a function to be considered as odd function, f of negative x should be equal to negative f of x. This is the first statement that you have to write before, start, before you solve any question for even and odd function. Okay? Now, after writing this statement, you can now start solving. You have already told the person who is going to mark your paper to say, I'm going to conclude based on the statement that I've given you. So, everyone who is going to be marking your paper, they will be referring to the initial statement that you, you have given them. Okay? So, other people can write this statement. It's not that everyone can write the same thing, no. But, you can also say, but this one is going to be neat. For a function to be considered as even function, f of negative x should be equal to negative, f of negative x should be equal to f of x. And for a function to be considered, you continue again, and... For a function to be considered as odd, f of negative x should be equal to negative f of x. Simple. Now, from this information, I can now start solving. So, these questions, I'm going just to be solving. But mind you, this statement should be the first thing before you start solving any, any kind of question for even and odd. Okay? Let's, let's begin our discussion with the first question that we have been given. So I'll say, for any kind I'm going to be plugging in, so in this function where there's x, I'm going to plug in negative x. Now this negative x to a power 3, then negative x raised to a power 4 plus 1. So f of negative this, let's see. It's going to give me what? Okay. It's going to give me negative x to a power 3. This is going to be negative x to a power 4 is x to a power 4 plus 1. When you reach at this point, factor out negative. Okay. The reason why I'm factoring out negative is because we are saying I need to have either this 
O this. So I'm going to factor out negative. Why am I going to factor out negative? Because I can clearly see that this is not the same as the original function. Original function x to the power 3 doesn't have negative. So if I have seen that it's not the same, I know that it's not even. If it's not even, let me try to factor out negative. If at all, the ones in the brackets is going to be the same as the origin. Cool, right? Now, if I factor out negative, I factor out negative, I'll have x to the power 3 down here x to the power 4 plus 1. Let us see. I've got negative outside. Let us see what is in the brackets. Is it the same as what is it? They are the origin. Yes. So now I can clearly see that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. <laughs> you see now, right? So that's why I said the first statement is important. Then I'll say, therefore, f of negative x is equal to f of is equal to negative f of x. Then I say the function is the function is odd. There is no debate about it, guys. Something that is not complicated. It's simple as that. So, try to check. Is it the same as the original? No. If you have got a negative, factor out negative. Is it going to come out as f of negative x is equal to negative f of x? If yes, that is odd. If that doesn't fit as well, then that is neither. Okay? Let's now jump into the second one. So, I'm going to give you some other questions to, for you to solve. You get my point, right? For you to do it. So let's let's now dive into part two. So g of x is equal to x to the power four divided by x to the power three plus one. They have just switched for the first question. Meaning that g of negative x. I remember here we are now follow, we are now following this. I've been give, I, I was giving you f of negative x. If the function is g, I'm going to use g. So, this is going to be equal to negative x raised to the power 4. Here, negative x raised to the power 3 plus 1. g of negative x is equal to negative x to the power 4 is x. This is going to give me negative x to the power 3 plus 1. Let's see. The first thing that I have to consider now is is it giving me <clears throat> is it giving me the original function? No. At this point, g of negative is g of negative x giving me g of x? No. Because there's a negative here. Here there is no negative. Then this is not an even function. So if it is not an even function, what should you do? What if I factor out negative? Do you think it's going to give me the, the ones in the brackets are going to be the same? Let's see. If I factor out negative, meaning this is going to be negative x to the power, this should be to the power 4, negative x to the power 4, down here, it's going to be what? It's going to be x. Okay. In short, if I factor out x on top there, I can clearly see that just on top there, if in short, on top there, there is no negative. So there is no need of me factoring negative. I'm just wasting my time. Let me not waste time here. I'm just wasting my time because on top there, there is no x. I can only factor out x if it is on the numerator. So there is no x, I can't factor out. So if that's the case, I can conclude that this is not even. At the same time, this is not odd, then this is neither. Neither odd or neither even no odd. Okay? So that's how we now do these questions, guys. They're not complicated, as you can see. So what if we dive into the second one? Let's see. F of negative x, don't forget to write the, the first statement. I'll put here negative x minus... 1 over negative x squared f of negative x anything in the modulus comes out as z positive that's what we should remember so that will still be negative this negative will go because it's a modulus 
So negative x squared is x squared. This is exactly as the original function. What is our conclusion? f of negative x is equal to f of x. Therefore, the function is even. If I didn't have the mo if I didn't have the modulus there, this function would have not been even. Let's try if that if at all we didn't have the modulus. Now I'm solving this question. If at all there were, we didn't have modulus, so it would have been like this. Then there is negative in front here. Let's factor out negative. If I factor out negative, it will be x plus 1 over this. Quite okay, there is negative, but the ones in the brackets, are they giving us the original function? No, because here there is negative, but here there is positive. It would have been neither. Okay, but because there is modulus, that's why we have considered as what? Even function. Let's do part 4 f of negative x is going to be equal to negative. So what I'm going to do for this question uh, to make things simple for us. Okay. To make things simple for us, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to plug in negative x minus 1 to a power 3. Now, one thing I want you to understand is that as long as it is raised to the power 3, it's going to be x raised to the power negative 3. So if x raised to the power negative 3, still it will be negative. So that's why I know that this will still be negative. Then this will still be also what? Negative like that. Then what should I do now when I do that? What I can do is, um, what if I factor out negative? But how can we factor out negative there? Let's see. If I factor out negative, what I mean by factoring out negative is, uh, this negative that is in front here, I can factor out direct. It's possible. Or what do I mean? This is the same as negative 1. So negative 1 raised to the power 3 it is negative 1 so this can be raised can be written as i want to use a simple way i can factor this negative and it can come out like that i'll put just negative then x minus 1 raised to the power 3 even here it will be negative then it will be x plus 1 then this is going to be what then this is going to be raised to the power what to the power 3 as well. But what I mean is, if I factor out just a minute, I don't want to expand. You can expand if you want. What I mean is, expanding this raised to the power 3. But the simple way, what we, I can do is, if I factor out negative here, here I would mean with x, negative there, it will be plus 1. Then this is raised to the power 3. Here I can factor out negative, then it's going to be x, then negative and positive, it will be negative like that. Then I raise to a power to power that. That's the simplest way I can do. And then when I do that, I can now factor out the overall negative. So this is now going to be in the brackets. Big bracket. Then if I factor out negative there, I expect to have x plus one raised to a power three. Then minus. Okay. I'm going to have. So even here, when I factor out, it will be plus. Then this will be x. Okay, x minus one raised to the power three, like that. So if I check here, I factored out negative, but what is inside here? Is it the same as this? I have got this, which is this one. This part is here. And in between here, there is plus. And also here, I have got plus. So my conclusion will be f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. 
therefore the function is odd. So this is just the shortcut that I've used, but if you want you can expand. What do I mean? Expand this and expand that. Plug in the negative x. Well, you see it's still going to give you what? Negative. In most cases, as long as x is raised to the power 3, the function, in most cases, it is odd. x raised to the power 2, the function is even. That's what happens. So let's go to the next question. You can try to solve this one. Pause the video. Try to work it and then you compare with the answer that I'm going to find. So f of negative x being equal to negative this squared 1 then negative x to the power 6. x to the power x is going to be equal to that will still give me x squared divided by 1. Now x raised to the power negative x raised to the power 6. What do you expect? It's like I've got negative x squared times negative x. It's like I have this. To the power 2. To the power 2. To the power 2. So this is positive. This is positive. This is positive. And I'll end up having still positive. So still that is going to be positive. So if that's the case, do I have plus or minus? Okay, here there is plus. So if that's the case, then I can clearly see that this is the same as the original function. So x to the power of this is equal to f of x. Therefore, the function is even. We go to the last one, we see what's happening. f of negative x is equal to, I plug in here, negative x, then here, also negative. Anything in the modulus, like we said, it comes out as positive. I'll still have the modulus of x, positive x. This one will still be negative. The way this question is, even if I factor out negative, I'm not going to get the original one. Let's see. If I divide negative in this case, let's try to factor out negative. Or if I divide negative, f of x will be equal to negative the modulus of x divided by x. So, if we clearly see here, so f of negative x, I factor out negative, the modulus of x divided by x. What is in the inside the inside the brackets? It's basically the same as that, and I've got it minus outside. So then this is what f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. The function is odd. Try to explore different type of questions and um, are even and odd and try to see if at all you can manage to solve by yourself. So this is what I wanted you to understand when we're talking about even and odd functions.